Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today you'll see how authorization code grant flow works and how this can be implemented using AWS Cognito and you can test it using Postman. So in this diagram it shows a flow for authorization code grant flow. You can see here user will actually use Postman and will try to access our API endpoints which are exposed by AWS API Gateway. But before doing that it will be authenticated and authorized using AWS Cognito. So AWS Cognito will act as our identity provider and I will explain you this flow how it will work. So we as user will log into Postman and will try to run and get operation or a post operation and while doing that Postman will send a authorization code request to AWS Cognito using slash auth2 slash authorize endpoint. On receiving the request, AWS Cognito will send back login pop-up for the user to enter its username and password to authenticate. Once user enters its detail and submits, Cognito will send authorization code back to Postman using a redirect URL. Once Postman gets that authorization code, it will take that code, it will have a client ID and a client secret. Using this, it will send request back another Cognito endpoint, which will be a token endpoint to get access token. After validating that information, Cognito will provide an access token back to Postman. Now this access token will have scopes and some other details for the user using which it can access API gateway endpoint. And that's when it will send a request whether get operation or post operation to get the information from API gateway expose endpoint and then receive the response. Now I will show you this in AWS as a demo. I have already created API gateway and expose my API but I will show you how you will configure AWS Cognito, how will you create app client and then what needs to be configured in Postman to make this flow work. So let's get started. First we log into AWS and we'll go to API Gateway. So here we are in API Gateway and I already have imported the sample REST API which API Gateway provides, pet store. And it has some endpoints like get, get pets, post pets and you can access the pet based on the ID. So this is already configured and I have already deployed this to V1 stage. So this API is right now not restricted, anybody can access it and that's why I have configured in Postman the calls. So get home page, get pets, post pets, get pets ID. So if you see this, if I run this right now, I can get the home page. If I want to see all the pets data, it works. So there is no authentication and authorization as such right now. Now we'll go to AWS Cognito and configure it for implementing authorization code grant flow all the resources required so go to AWS Cognito first thing you have to create a user pool just call it auth pool you can give any name review defaults I don't make any change create pool your user pool is created now you'll go to users and groups and create a user give it a name uncheck this uncheck these options give it a temporary password The user is created. Next we'll create app client. Add an app client. Give it a name. Leave these defaults. Everything default. Create app client. Next we'll create resource servers. Add a resource server. Give it a name. Give identifier and give scopes. Read for write for post. Next we'll go to domain name create one domain name Amazon Cognito domain give any name check availability it is available so save changes now we'll configure app client settings these settings are created the moment we created app client now we will make changes to it configure user pool authorization code grant for the auth flow this is what we are trying to demo and in custom scopes this is the one which we created in our resource server. Select both test read and test write. Now here you see callback URL. What should be set here? Because we are trying to access our API endpoints using Postman. So the callback URL here should be something like this. 
and I will let you know later from where you will get this particular link to add here so once you have pasted callback URL which points to postman save changes and your app client is configured now now everything required in Cognito is configured we'll go back to our API gateway and create authorizers and attach these authorizers to our API endpoints so that access could be restricted create new authorizer give it a name select type as Cognito Cognito user pool it will show all the users pool you have in that region this is the one which we created auth pool and token source which will be authorization create so authorizer is created after this go to resources and I have attached this authorizer to each of these access points so get method request you see authorization auth client and I have put the scopes also so for get operations test slash read is required there is another get operation here also auth client test read and for post operation authorization auth client test write similarly for all the access points I have now attached authorizer after attaching authorizer make sure you deploy the API once more now we'll go back to postman and try to access these endpoints once more and you see unauthorized let me try post operation unauthorized so now you'll see what configuration you have to do in postman to make this authorization code grant flow work so we'll go to collection click on collection you will see these options authorization type select OAuth 2.0 it will give you lots of options scroll down and configure new token edit token configuration here token name you can give some token name grant type make sure you select authorization code there are different options here callback URL now this is the URL which we have set in our app client settings and postman will get the authorization code back at this URL OAuth URL this is a domain server name which we have configured go to cognito domain name and copy this link which is domain server URL and you have to append it with OAuth2 slash authorize so it will access this endpoint to get authorization code once postman receives authorization code it will send access token request to URL appended with OAuth2 slash token this is a different endpoint after that client ID is same as app client which we have created this is the client ID so copy this and save it and the client secret if you expand app client you will get the secret copy this and save the app client secret scope we have two custom scopes test read and test write right now we will mention test read and see how this works so this is scope we have given and then get new access token so it will pop up username password so user has to authenticate itself so test user password and because it's first time the user is signing it will ask to change the password user is getting authenticated right now so we have received access token we'll select use token and now if you go to get home page make sure in authorization you have selected inherit from parent and then run the request again and you can see you can access the home page now now let's try to run another get request get pet make sure authorization is getting it from parent send request and yes we can access this one also let's try post authorization is fine send and unauthorized so this is perfectly working this is unauthorized because if you go back to collection our configuration for token we have just mentioned test read there is no scope for test write that's why post operation did not work 
so now we will add scope for test write as well and we'll try to access new token we got new access token I will quickly show you this access token what's the scope we received if you copy this go to jwt.io paste it here and you see here header payload and signature verification in payload you can see now it has both the scopes if you go back to postman and this time if we run post and you see we are able to post a new record to see this we can go to get and we can try to access the record which we posted and it works perfectly fine I hope this helps you to understand how authorization code grant flow works and how you can actually get authorization token with proper scopes and restrict your APIs thank you so much for watching this session and we'll see you in the next one